Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Banjo Tui, uh, Banjo Tui, Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Last time we left off, we were in Mumbo's Hunt, H Hunt, Hut. Why did I say Hunt? Um, something which reminds me of Hunt's tomato sauce. I don't know. Anyway, uh, well, I don't know. So, uh, Mumbo's gonna turn into a rat, and like I said, you can turn into any transformation at any level. And the rat is probably the most, or rat mouse, is probably the most well, this round or whatever. Rat mouse, is similar. Uh, they're probably the most, uh, is probably the most used transformation. Uh, I talked to this Briggle, uh, I will apologize, because a lot, uh, throughout this world, and I think the next world as well, I forget to talk to some people before doing the missions. But to be honest, it's really not going to make a difference. All you do is miss a little bit of dialogue. Um, so I apologize. So yes, somehow, uh, being turned into a rat allows you to have teeth that can chew through steel. Because, you know, that makes sense. Uh, maybe he's super mouse, super rat. He's uh, the the rat of steel, the mouse of steel. I don't know. Um, but this, uh, it, it, you know, again, it, it's a good game. And again, this music's pretty good. Uh, next level's music isn't that great, but the music after that, probably the best in the game. And I'll, I'll of course talk to that, talk about it quite a bit. I don't know, this is a good song. Uh, you know, what I realized though, I think this is the only beach besides Treasure Trove Cove. I'm trying to think, is there one in, I don't think there is a beach in, uh, Tui. Well, I guess uh, Jolly Rogers Bay, but it's not really a beach. Because there's really no beach to it, it's just kind of like a water level. But yeah, there's no, there's no beach. To my knowledge, at least. So, today is Christmas, Christmas Eve, uh, for all your Christmas people. And then there's, of course, it's just a holiday season with Kwanzaa, um, Hanukkah was a few weeks, I think a week ago. I did it two weeks ago, I don't know. Uh, so, Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, tomorrow will be Christmas. I'll probably, maybe, uh, might make a video just saying what I, well, no, I'll probably just do an NLP, but I have some things I'm hoping to get from my family. And I've given some gifts, too, to my, uh, brothers and everything. You know, it's nice having, it's nice having brothers, and yeah, it isn't. You know, family members can drive you crazy sometimes. But that's true to any family. Um, so let's go turn back into a bear. Uh, so, uh, let's, let's get to, uh, some discussions, uh, before we get to the actual, some important things in this thing. Importance of stories in games. I've mentioned before that I really think music is a big factor in games, probably the third most. Like, there's, sorry, controls, uh, gameplay, and then I'd say music. But story is very important as well, but you don't need a very compelling story, to be honest. Like, TTYD had a very compelling story. Uh, Super Mario had a very compelling story, in my opinion. Uh, there's other games that have very compelling stories. But, Banjo-Kazooie, the original, also had a compelling story because of the character development. It made a big difference. I mean, the story was very simple. You could sum it up in one word, as I said in like, one of the past videos. But, the fact that they made the character development so intriguing, and it really made you want to, 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 you know, to finish it off, to defeat Grunty, it was really... The story was well done, even though it was very simple, proving that you don't need a very intricate story in order to make a good story. A uh, story can be very simple and still be good, because character development is also very important to making the, a good story. Which is one reason why I like TTYD better than Paper Mario. I know some... Uh, this is kind of topic, but... I know some people like uh, Paper Mario the best, but the thing was... Paper Mario's story, A, was very generic, basic Mario. And yeah, you could say the nostalgia purposes, but... It was a very basic, bland story. And not only that, but the characters were also very bland. You could have easily made the story much better if the characters had much more development, whereas TTYD had the story and good character development, at least compared to TTYD. Uh, and so, I guess the point is, a good story is really important to a game. Um, not so much... I don't think you need a story, but in some instances, like, I don't think Mario needs a story, but if Mario games had stories, would they be uh, better? Yeah. They could have a simple story like uh, Peach was taken by Bowser, but they could make it more interesting. Of course, Mario games don't really have that much dialogue, so you have issue with that. Anyway, we are fighting Grunty in her mecha suit. Um, she's actually very easy. Hurt me without a bill, so I hope you've written out your will. Uh, I have. I'm. I'm. 
giving away uh, my laptop to... Uh, I'm not sure where I was going with this. Anyway, point is, this is a very easy boss. Just wait until she charges at you with her shield, uh, and then dodge. Just keep dodging. Eventually, she'll change her strategy after you hit her three times. She takes six, six hits. Uh, this is essentially like a boss battle type. Like, with Klungle, whenever you beat Klungle, you get a, a Mumbo token. Uh, there's five worlds, not counting Grunty's Tower. So, first world, third world, and... Actually, wait, no, you get you get a you get a Mumbo token from uh, one of Grunty's battles, but you, they they alter. You fight Klungo in the first world, and you fight Grunty, so we'll fight Klungo next time. Oh, but yeah, and down to one more hit. Now she's doing her whole jumping thing. The easiest way to do this is just to go back and forth between her like this, and then hit her. My defeat was a surprise. I think the sun was in my eyes. You're a robot. I better get this suit upgraded. The bear alone I underrated. Robots, the sun shouldn't be in your eyes. You're a robot. You should have perfect eyes that should be able to see everything and anything. You should be super eye. M robot grunty. Gr the grunty robot should have super eyes. Anyway, Kazooie is now uh, free, which is stupid. It's like, I got defeated. Now I'm going to leave Kazooie and give her back to you. Kazooie, I am glad to see you. I thought Grunty would have made you into a monster by now. No, that would have actually been a good idea. I'm okay, Banjo, but we've got to put an end to the old Rusty Knickers plan. Grunty's doing everything in her power to change the past and make sure that we never meet in the future. What is she doing? We haven't seen any of this. My wings are really stiff. It looks like you could use some extra jumping height. Ooh, you know what that means. Mm -hmm. Flat flip, yeah. So now we're using the L and R buttons. Well, we're using them already for the diving, but we're using those much more with Kazooie. Uh, some of the controls can be a, bit, a little bit complicated, but not too bad. Um, I did mention that how Kazooie wasn't as angry as she was uh, in past games. That's not really true. Rare, st Rare, Rare still has the whole thing, even when they were in Microsoft, they had the whole thing of being uh, still keeping characters kind of sn snarky. It's really only cranky from DK because that wasn't made by Rare, it was made by uh, a couple, several couple, Nintendo and then uh, Peon. But Peon does a pretty good job. Uh, I'm gonna go get that later. First, I'm gonna go get some more moves for Kazooie. I technically could get that now, I believe. Um, but now we have the flap flip, which will help us reach new heights. And, uh, but yeah, Kazooie's still snarky, but it just seems like she just isn't the same as she was in the other games. So your scrawny psychic is ready to help, is she? Hold L and press B to get yourself into egg firing mode. Firing some eggs. When you're done, firing. Now that you're armed, you should try investigating the strange going on at the end of the stone quarry over there. Over where? Kazooie. See, now, that's one thing. It's like Banjo randomly uh, gets mad at Kazooie or like tells her not to be rude at random times. Like I don't see how that was actually that rude at all. Uh, I actually honestly didn't. I get the, got the joke a little bit because of his eye. She constantly makes fun of the eye. Uh, but the thing is, the thing is, it doesn't work if you can't see his eye moving. Like constantly, they make jokes like his eye is moving and, it's, and he's like pointing with his eye. But uh, she makes jokes about that. But if you can't see it happening, then the joke is basically mute, uh, to my knowledge. Maybe it's not what the joke is about, but either way, the joke, in my opinion, doesn't make much sense. Now, again, if they had like animation of his eye actually moving. Uh, which would work in maybe the N or N if it was N64, uh, it might work. Uh, it, it would work actually. The joke. You're gonna love this. While Banjo holds L, you can give him a hand by R and go into Talon Trot mode. So the Talon Trot works much better than did in N64. You don't have to hold Z to stay in it. You can just L R and you're constantly in Talon Trot. 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 So I do like the, how they did the controls for uh, Talon Trot. And here we go. And that uh, Brigal, I was going to stop here, but I decided I still had time. Uh, that Brigal wants, uh, I believe, bugs, but I don't talk to it, so I'm just going to go straight up and go to uh, the minigame where you get it. I wasn't sure if there's a monster here, but there isn't, so don't worry about it. But yeah, it also seems like Banjo constantly is, like, mad, or not mad, but, like, uh, I guess, 
patronizing, maybe. It's like, Kazooie, don't do that. Kazooie, Kazooie. Over, like, a lot of stuff compared to in uh, the original, where he was much less doing that, and it worked much better, in my opinion. Oh, look, another slide. This slide gets... The slides get much more difficult as you go on, but this one's still pretty easy. Uh, the next one is actually a little bit harder, which you'll see in, uh, I think, a few levels, actually. I didn't get hit by these things. Don't worry about getting hit by them, but just uh, be careful, because you'll... Uh, lose your direction a little bit, or your sense of direction. But here we go. That's all of them. And there we are. Here's that jiggy. Uh, this has been Mega 400 reminding you to have a Merry Christmas.